so hi guys this is from yes and in this video we are going to solve this time conversion problem that is available on the hacker Rank website so before we are going to solve this problem if you are new here then please subscribe to the channel because it is a, it, a small contribution from your side but it helped me a lot so you can also go to the my youtube channel and in the playlist section you can also watch all of my other solutions as well and you can have uh, understanding of my code as well okay so if you face any other uh, problem while using my code then you can also ping me in that particular video in the comment section and i will also give you the explanation of that particular problem okay so here in this problem we have given a time in the 12 hours format and we need to convert it into the military format that is into the 24 hours format so we always need to remember that if we have the time available in the am format and the hours is equal to the 12 then the in the 24 hours clock there will be equal equal to the 00, 00 hours 00, 00 minutes and 00, 00 seconds okay and if the time is available in the pm format then it will be equivalent to the uh, same uh, time but there will be no any pm and i am available there okay so let's say we have the sample input that is the seven hours zero five minutes and 45 seconds and the time is into the pm format okay so how we are going to achieve the 24 hours format so there will be the four available cases in this particular problem and that will i explain you with my a code okay so let's say first we are going to check for the first case let's say if the time is available in the am format okay and the hours is equivalent to the 12 okay so how we are going to convert it into the 12 hour sorry into the 24 hours format so if the time is available into the am format just like given here and the uh, hours is equivalent to the 12 so we are going to just remove the 12 from the hours and we are going to just add the 0, 0 at the hours point okay and then we are going to just remove the a am text from the uh, from the string then we are going to just return the minutes and seconds as it is and we are going to print that value on the output screen okay so let's say if the time is not equal uh, equivalent to the 12 hours means the hours is not equivalent to the 12 but it is available in the am format so how we are going to achieve the 24 hours format just like we are going to just return the exact uh, exact string but not return we are not going to return the am and pm from the string okay so we are going to just return this exact string and that will be the equivalent 24 hours format into the military time okay so let's say we are going to uh, understand about the third case let's say if the time is available in the pm format but it is also equivalent to the uh, 12 hours okay so the hours is equivalent to the 12 and the time is available in the pm format so how we are going to achieve that format is that we are going to just return the exact string but we are not going to return the pm uh, text in the string okay so these three are the simple cases available here but we are going to focus more on the fourth case let's say if the time is available in the pm format but the hours is not equivalent to the 12 okay so how we are going to achieve the 24 hours format so always remember that if the time is available in the pm format but the hours is not equivalent to the 12 then what we are going to do is we are going to just add the 12 value into the 12 into the hours of the string okay so we are going to just get the hours of the string let's say it is equivalent to the seven then we are going to add the 12 into the seven then it will be equivalent to the 19 and then we are going to just get the minutes and the seconds from the string and then we are going to just return as a string okay so these are the four cases that we need to consider while solving this problem and this is just a simple problem nothing is fancy here so i have already solved this problem so i am just going to just submit this code although i have already solved this problem so there will be no any cases uh, false cases available here so that's it all the test cases are the are passed 
so you can use this code and if you face any problem while solving this problem while using my code then you can also ping me in the comment section below and i will give you the exact explanation of that particular line okay so that's it. that's it for this video guys 